Welcome into the metal bar and welcome to New Zealand, Sir Herman. How are you, sir? Thank you. And this man over here, Sam, you've been here once or twice before because you're from New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, no, I've been been away for about 15 years or something. Actually, it's probably more, but I won't say more, otherwise I'll sound old. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah no, it's always cool to come back. I haven't been back for five years, actually, now. So, yeah, like, saw all my mates last night in Wellington. Now, now my voice is pretty much gone from too much shouting and yelling and the silly things. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was really cool to be back, didn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, because I was going to say, I think last time Dragon Force were here was eight years ago. So do you you don't come home that often to visit family no, or anything not like really. that? Well, my mum and dad come over to England all the time, oh, so I see them. And, like, and I would come back more, but like with our touring schedule, like it's kind of hard to fit it in. Like, and then also think, well, like I get back and like all my, I'm like, yeah, come on, let's go party. All my mates like got jobs and that. They're like. I'll, I'll do like one night with them and they're like, oh, I can't be bothered. So I'm like, I wonder something my parents doing nothing. Yeah. You know what so I, mean? so kind of... I wish I would come back, so it's their fault for being boring. <laughs> <laughs> so Herman, obviously, uh, you, you come to New Zealand and everybody talks about Sam because he's from New Zealand. But what has Sam told you about New Zealand that when you came here, you went, fuck, I want to avoid doing that or I really want to see that? Well, we're not really nerdy enough to talk about these things, to oh, be honest, okay. usually. <laughs> so I, I only knew today that, well, actually a few minutes ago, that it's really freezing in the winter and it rains even more than England and Wellington got really chilling cold winds. Yeah. There you go. Maybe it's because he's old so he's talking about the weather now but I wouldn't be picking this subject. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. Well, you, you guys have um, obviously been around for a number of years now, Dragon Force, but you got your first live DVD coming out soon too. That's right. It's called In the Line of Fire and it's, it's filmed in Japan in the Saitama Super Arena and we've got like more than 10 camera angles and we kept putting it together right now it's almost finished and it looks really cool so um you know it'll be, it's our first ever live kind of dvd footage you know blu-ray release so um i think the fans will be really happy to see it now uh, your latest album too you've got a few guests on there matt um Heafy from trivium was one of those uh, how did it uh, come about getting him to play on the game oh i guess um we um it was actually, was this your idea, but we were afraid to ask them? Yeah, we, we, we kind of, we knew we wanted someone to do some kind of like rough singing. Mm. And like, cause we've always had that on the other records as well. And, and we were just like, oh, who can we get to do it? And we just sort of thought, well, like, thought of all these people and we we're like, who, who would actually could be bothered to do it that we knew? And we thought, oh, he'd be cool because we, we like his voice and we think he's kind of a good, quite a good friend of ours. But we still were like, <clears throat> we still thought, oh, Oh, well, I don't really want to ask him because he'll probably just either do it because he feels like he has to or he'll just say no. And then, like, so Fred goes, oh, I'll ask him, like, and, he, and when he said, and he goes, oh, he said he'll actually do it. Well, oh, right, cool. So that yeah. was that. You know, the reason we don't ask is if people ask us, you, we usually can't be bothered. <laughs> yeah, when yeah, anybody asks us to do guitar on the album, we're like, oh, sorry, man, I've got to, like, go on tour or something. Yeah, yeah. Excuse, like. The last thing you want to do after long tour is go back home and record more guitars. Play it's on like, someone else's record. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. wow, like, we have done, you know, it takes us six months to make an album. We don't want to do that again. <laughs> go back and record more guitars. Yeah. Yeah, well, so speaking of making albums, I mean, you guys both play guitar, you both play lead, so... How do you decide who's playing what lead where? How does that work? I mean, does that depend on who writes the songs and who gets to take the credit? How does that work? No, it's more like, um, like, so it's, say I write a song, for example, like, I'll like write out the, I'll, I'll know that like, in the middle there's going to be like six guitar solos on this one. I think that'll be kind of <coughs> like the right amount for this particular song. And, I, and so I'll like write out the chord progressions and then, and I'll knowing that there's going to be six, so I'll know, okay, there's going to be like 16 bars of that, then 16 bars of that, whatever it is. And then like once all the songs are, are written with that kind of in place, like the chord progressions there, and we just kind of sit down and like divide them up and say, okay, I think your sol your style will be better as the first solo in this song, and then I think yeah, might and like that. That's basically how it goes. And we try to balance it out to suit the songs, not rather like, oh, I want to play this all the time and I want to be the coolest. It's, we, we do try and think of what would sound better on the song rather than just to see who can like do the most banking. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Herman, you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, you know, funny enough, I just realised we actually have done once guest guitar playing. And when? Baby Mellow. Oh yeah, true. It <laughs> was quite hard work. Yeah, that was hard work. That was we, we, um, so we did this song called um, Road to Road of Resistance, which is a new song that just came out last month by Baby Mellow. It took us a year. A year? A year. We started recording that, not last year, but the year before that, in December, and we only finished in... Um, last year December. Yeah, it's just hard work because it's like, even though you think, oh, one guitar solo, that's only going to take five minutes. If it's on someone else's album, I mean, even with well, 
the same with your own. You want them to be really good. Mm. So you can't just like do a quick rush job. You know, you got to like, yeah. You know, even on our own now, for me, it takes ages to write guitar solos just because like you've done so many albums now, you can't repeat the same licks all the time, right? Yeah. So you know, it gets really difficult to, to come up with new ideas that are still cool. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we did all the guitars on that song. So imagine it wasn't just a solo; Sorry. it was just like everything. All everything, the guitars. Yeah. So it, was, yeah. it took a long time. Because what's your take on Baby Middle? I mean, I know you guys have obviously played on it, and there's a certain amount of people, you know, in the middle fraternity that would go, <laughs> "Well, it's kind of, it's like a Spice Girls in middle. It's a bit manufactured." Um, but then, you know, I've seen other people like. Um, Dom from a Metal Hammer who really defended it and said, look, there's some great musicians on this. This is actually some great metal. Where do you guys sit? I, I mean, we, the reason we did it is because we thought it would be actually an original combination and, and they're doing something that is different from everyone else. And also some of their songs, which I was really surprised about, like it's quite similar to our style. It's like they got quite, they got a few songs on the album that are quite power metal sounding. And like, <clears throat> if they didn't have them, maybe I wouldn't have liked it as much. And I was like, wow, this is really weird. Like, in Japan, like, the style of music that we play, like, is so popular. So it's kind of weird. Like, you would expect something like Baby Middle to be, like, when I first heard it, oh, it's just going to be like Slipknot or something. But like, it actually is really melodic. And so that's kind of what, uh, we wouldn't have played on it if it was like unmelodic and horrible. It's just because it was like, I actually quite liked it when I heard it. I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Now okay. yeah, well, I, I heard a rumor, um, Sam, that I have to ask you about because you sound you don't sound very well at the moment. But I've heard that you're quite susceptible to pink eye on the road. Can you elaborate on that? <laughs> How many times has that happened? Well, yeah, I don't really want to go into too horrible details. All I can say is you shouldn't put things in certain places and then put them in other places. <laughs> right, like your eye. Right, right, like your eye, for example. Right, OK, good, good. Yeah, don't, don't put your finger in your own ass and, and rub your eye. <laughs> that's, that's how it happens. Yeah, exactly. Uh, quality. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, we're well, at least it shows we got some birds at our gigs. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. You didn't, you didn't tell them the quality. <laughs> so. <laughs> Well, I think the quality is quite obvious, isn't it? <laughs> you got pink eye. Yeah. <laughs> we always um, tend to wrap interviews up with a quick five, but because there's two of you, it's almost like a quick ten. So I'll, I'll try and do this as, uh, as succinctly as we can. But um, first question: What was the first album, Herman, you were given or you were played that made you go, "I want to play metal"? And, and how did that come about? I guess the first one I got into that guitar-wise was Bon Jovi. Yeah. Slip, slippery when wet kind of album. Yeah. But that's how I got into guitar solos actually, yeah. yeah. Okay. And and you Sam? Um the first metal song I ever heard I, I went wow, it was like Aces High by Maiden. I went to my mate's place at lunchtime at school and he played it and I was like, I'd never even heard much metal from it. So I was like, man, that's so catchy, that intro riff of then I was like, oh this is so cool. I was like and I was playing classical guitar at the time and I'd never played any metal. And I went home and I got got the album off him and I was like trying to figure it out my classical guitar and I was like, oh this is cool. This is awesome. Alright, oh, well what's say uh, what's your poison these days? So if uh, you're gonna come to the middle bar for a drink, what are you, what, what am I gonna get you? Well anything that's free, I don't really care. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sam? Um Corona mainly. Corona? Uh, yeah, I pretty much drink that every day. Yeah. I find it's like it's easy to get down when you don't actually want to drink but you want to get drunk. It's got like, fruit in it generally, so oh, it's quite good that. for you, is it? No, I don't no. bother with the fruit, but like but yeah, I pretty much drink that every day. Yeah. Alright. Well what's um the most disgusting personal habit of somebody you've toured with? Or him. Oh right, oh, yeah. Come okay. on, this is Sam? Um, <laughs> well, <him. laughs> disturbing <laughs> disturbing like habit. Why well, it's just re- Let's say we, we, our personality is so different. Yeah. I'm, I like I'm to very cool and he's not. I like to everything really straight, really organised, and he's just the exactly opposite. So there's like banana, there's banana peel on the floor after they finish eating them. You can't even chuck it in the bin, you know what I mean? Right. Terrible. Which is not really that terrible. I mean. It's horrible. Are you guys married? You, 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 you guys, are you guys yeah, yeah. married? What's going on here? Um, <laughs> no love. No, it's love. a loveless marriage. It's a loveless marriage. It's a hate hate relationship. Yeah, hate hate. Yeah, yeah. All right then. Um, what's your, your weirdest or most bizarre fan encounter? You can start. Well, well, oh, I thought you were going to try and say me. I was like, I wasn't a fan of you. You're going to say Binko again. Uh, <laughs> That's not weird. Oh, some guy got me to sign his knob. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was very really drunk, so I was like, well, I don't want to have to touch it. I was just like... Yeah. And this guy that um, just <laughs> carried on burning his pubes in front of us. <laughs> that is weird. That is yeah. weird. All right, well, lastly, um, a kid comes up to you, Herman, and says, what's metal? And you can just give him one album to tell him what metal is. What album do you give him? Um, Dragon Force album, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. Play, yeah. Right, I'd say. Good stuff. All right, gentlemen. Hey, thanks very much for your time. Hey, yeah, awesome. Lovely man. to meet you both. Cheers. Um, enjoy your stay in New Zealand, and uh, hopefully, it's not eight years before we see you back again. Yeah.